Princess and the Pea. Many years ago, in a far land across the sea, there lived a gentle prince who was as handsome as can be. He had everything that he could want, a full and happy life. But there was one thing he wished for, to share it with a wife. That day the prince decided he would travel round the world and talk to every princess till he found the perfect girl. I'll cross the world from north to south. I'll look in every town. There must be someone waiting who is worthy of my crown. The first princess he met had such a smile so gay and bright. He thought, I like her very much. I think she may be right. But sometimes she would ask him to speak softly and not shout. Because her ears were so big, she heard everything too loud. The prince knew he couldn't stay so quiet all his life and realized that this princess could never be his wife. The second princess that he saw was pretty, kind, and sweet. He said, this must be the best princess I will ever meet. But when he took a closer look, he frowned in great despair. I cannot put a crown upon a head that has no hair. The third princess he met had flowing hair so long and pale that everywhere she walked, it trailed behind her like a tail. He thought, I like this princess. She is beautiful and fair. But whenever he came close to her, he stepped upon her hair. When the prince found the fourth princess, he thought she was the one. I've found her. She's so delicate. At last, my search is done. But when he looked at her legs, his face grew glum and blue. He'd never seen such giant feet, too big for any shoe. The prince continued searching high and low for his princess. And when he met the fifth, he thought, at last, hooray, success. A lovely face, a witty brain, a smile that really shone. But this princess was too short to reach the royal throne. Our poor prince finally went home and told his mom and dad, I cannot find my princess, and he was a little sad. I've searched the whole world over, under every tree and stone. I guess I'll never find her, and must live my life alone. But as he told his parents of his searches high and low, there came a knock from the front door in the big hall below. Could you please open up the door? A voice asked meek and thin. I've come so far, and I'm a princess. Won't you let me in? It's getting late. I'm cold and wet, the voice went on to say. I'm tired, and my kingdom is far. I've been outside all day. They opened up the gate and saw a girl in a simple dress, so they could not be sure she really was a true princess. <laughs> the queen thought, my son is the prince, for him only the best. To see if she's a princess, I will put her to the test. Under her mattress, I will lay a tiny little pea. And if she feels uncomfortable, we'll know she's royalty. The room was warm and cozy, but the princess couldn't sleep. She tossed and turned, tried everything. She even counted sheep. Although the room was pretty and the sheets were soft and pink, the bed was so uncomfortable she didn't sleep a wink.
The next morning, as the sun filled the room with light, the poor princess could barely move after her sleepless night. She tried to hide her tiredness and be a pleasant guest, but everyone could see the princess hadn't had her rest. The princess tried to walk, but she could barely stand upright. Then suddenly the queen asked her, My dear, how was your night? She said, The bed was full of lumps, I'm sorry to confess. The queen gave a big smile and said, We've found a true princess. The queen then told her maid, Get me the royal seamstress, run, for we have finally found a princess suited for my son. We'll make fine shoes and hats and sew gold thread into her dress, and she will have a wardrobe suited for a true princess. The princess wore her royal gown <laughs> to lunch that very day, and when the prince laid eyes on her, he loved her right Tap away. Tap the recording button beside he me to record her, my voice. Will you marry me? I want to live with you. She smiled hmm. and said, My darling prince, of course I will. I do. A royal wedding. What a joy. Excitement filled the air. The castle was a buzz, and guests came in from everywhere. The whole kingdom rejoiced in celebration noon to night. The <laughs> prince and princess filled the hall with laughter gay and bright. On their honeymoon, they traveled round Bye. the world together. The prince said, Bye -bye. Traveling with my lovely wife is so much better. Where are they now? What happened next? Do you think you can guess? They lived happily ever after, the prince and the princess. The End The Princess and the Pea